Hello, my friends. It's your boy Patrick Allman coming at you with a quick update on custom objects. As of today, we now have relationships. So you and I, we're gonna have relations, okay? Mmm, me gonna have relations with my objects here. Okay, what you're seeing on your screen here is what's is where we're gonna left where we left off with my previous videos on custom objects. Um, it, it's in the Facebook group here uh, and over on YouTube if you can't find it. But what we have now is when we go into something like client, um, I'm gonna give you a very simple scenario which I believe is gonna work in a more complicated scenario. And I am not doing this on live data. I would not do the I would not use custom objects anywhere on live data right now since we are still still testing this okay so over here uh, under client ratings uh, so this is a very simple example of a one-to-many relationship okay I was building client ratings with thinking that you know maybe every week when I have a client meeting I kind of take notes and I kind of gauge their mood you know are they red green yellow kind of thing and so in client relations now we have an associations tab which is also your relationships tab and here I have the association label the review this is a many-to-many -many relationship. This is the part right now that um, I'm looking forward to more um, more updates in the future because there are different, if you have any kind of database experience, you know that there are different relationships and database types. There's one-to-many, there's many-to-many, -many, and there's many-to-one. Right now, it looks like all we get is many-to-many, -many, which isn't a big deal. It's almost like overkill. It's giving us more than we need, um, but more will be coming later. And then I'm gonna edit this real quick for you. And uh, when I created it, I was just able to give some labels down here. Uh, I was able to, there was a drop down here where I was able to create the object to associate it with. And so far, my only choices are contacts and other custom objects. Cool, because everything's gonna be centered around contacts, right? Right down here in the middle yet, we are going to, we have no control over the relationship yet that will hopefully be coming where we can change the you know many to many one to one to many and many to one type of relationship right now all we get is many to many and then when you're building it you get a preview right down here which is a select object uh, excuse me this is uh this should have been no that's okay ignore that but anyway it's basically saying the review is going to be associated to many contacts which is not true each con yeah a, a review no a review will only be associated to one contact so if we have when we have the chance to change this up there we'll be able to control that a little bit better and um here the many a review will be associated to many client or excuse me a, Anyways, down here, I'll show you a better example of this here shortly. Um, but basically, when you're building this up here, it's going to give you a preview down here of how it works. What's cool now is you can also delete these. I'm looking forward to being able to delete some of the custom objects. But let's get into a more advanced scenario right here, okay? I'm One of my use cases for custom objects is events and event tickets. So in my previous video, you saw that I created an events custom object and an event tickets custom objects. Well, now I can relate these back to the objects, okay? And just so you know how this is going to work, is you if you were to create this and not kind of think this out through um, you would think oh I'm gonna have contacts I'm gonna have a set events and those are gonna be associated but database designs a little bit more complicated let's assume you're gonna have many events over the years okay and let's also assume that a particular contact can buy one two or two hundred tickets okay then in those cases you cannot just have contacts associated to events you have to have a middle object called a, uh, a join table for those of you with you know, database vernacular, or in this case, a join, uh, a, <clears throat> a join object, which is called our event tickets. And an event ticket, an event ticket will have uh, one event on one side and one contact on the other side. And so if someone buys three tickets, they're gonna have three event tickets, even though it's one contact over here and one event over here, if that makes sense, okay? So we basically when you're building events, in my in my case right here, you're gonna build your event, and, uh, and then as people buy stuff, you're gonna create more and more and more event tickets here, okay? So that's how that's gonna work. Um, so in event tickets, what I did here is I went, uh, this is the event ticket uh, screen from before when I built this, and over here in associations, now I have my relationships, okay? These, here's the association label, the many to many, and it's connected to events and to contacts right here, okay? 
So hopefully, you know, as as this, the, first of all, the developers are killing it. Uh, as always, you know, we're we're always chomping at the bit to get the latest and latest features, not realizing that they're releasing a ton of features every single week. Okay, please make sure you go check the change log if you haven't recently. But I'm also kind of curious now that we have relations, and I'm going to do this live with uh, without have done having done this before. I'm curious if I can go over to contacts now, pick a contact, a test contact. And I wonder if we can see the relationships down here yet, can we? Uh, order information, opportunities, no. Okay, so we cannot see the relations yet unless it's here someplace. I'm missing order information. No, that was something I was testing with. Uh, con additional information, no. That's Thomas Keenan's podcast stuff, general info. So at some point in time, when you have related objects, I'm like 99% sure you're gonna be able to come over here and see those inside. Oh, you know what? There it is over there. Ah, look at that. There it is, upper right hand corner, event tickets. So now what I can do is I can come over here and, um, oh, look at that. I can add a new event ticket and I can select the event tickets. Okay, so there's my event tickets. And so what I'm assuming is gonna happen, so basically this is me associating a new event ticket an existing event ticket with a contact. But since all this is beta, we're kind of fabricating the data along the way. So what's really going to be happening is when somebody is over in uh, buying something in a, uh, in a in a funnel, let's say I buy an event ticket, this over here is gonna be created automatically. I'm assuming, okay, that's really the way, that's where all the, the juice is gonna come from from this, is being able to build these associations automatically Post purchase, so I'm assuming you're going to be able to do it in the in the funnel or in the workflow afterwards, right there. So I'll keep playing with this some more. Please feel to drop some questions down at the bottom. But you are seeing this brand brand new. It's only been a, a couple of hours, and your boy Patrick is going to play with this a little bit. And I'm going to get back to the job of running an agency and making a profit. You guys have a great great day, and we'll talk to you soon.